Advise my stars back this time with a surprise. We have a new team member. She is an awesome makeup artist, does makeup on our top celebrities and teaches it in our best makeup school. She has loads of makeup tricks up her sleeve. Therefore, I hope you will enjoy her makeup tutorials as much as I do. Everybody give a warm round of applause to Barbara Fartek. Hi everyone! Today I'll show you an easy way how to do a day to night makeup. So first I start with putting foundation on the upper third of the face, all over the eyelids. I'm a huge fan of cream foundation, you only need a very small amount but it covers most of the imperfections already. Then I use a cream highlighter on the forehead and the brow bone. On the forehead I always draw like a semi triangle shape and the highlighter on the brow bone actually makes the eye look lifted. Covering everything with translucent powder will keep it all in place throughout the day and night. This is how we prevent foundation from gathering in any wrinkles. This time I will use L'Oreal's contouring trio instead of eyeshadows. I start with the darkest color on the eyelids all the way to the crease. Followed by a lighter color over the crease and finishing with the lightest color all the way to the eyebrows. I also like to use the lightest color on the inside corners of the eyes. Next I apply liquid black eyeliner. and add some false lashes to emphasize the eyes. Gently filling in the eyebrows will frame those eyes, but make sure you choose the color wisely. After that, I always wipe the rest of the face with cleansing tissues, in case some of the eyeshadow drop down. When everything is clean, I continue with foundation on the rest of the face. I use green corrector to cover any redness, like blemishes or other red areas. Shading and highlighting is important, but use it carefully a bit of shading below the cheekbone and then the parts you want to narrow. And some highlighter on your cheeks to make them pop. Finally some orange corrector under the eyes to make the face look fresh and rested. Now I use the translucent powder again to keep all the products in place. A bit of blush on the cheeks will give them a healthy glow. For the lips I use first a red lip pencil to give them an even shape. and then fill everything with red lipstick To make it last, I put over some translucent powder as well and then go over the lips again with lipstick The same brown pencil I also use on the lower lid just to give the eyes a bit more depth I finish the look with mascara where I make sure that the transition between natural and false lashes is not visible And that completes an easy day tonight makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on advisemystyle.com.